Today I will show you how I can install a custom user interface for Age of Conan called Icos. First you have to head into this link in the video here, it's also in the description. You have to click this one and download Icos. And after that you have to download this AOC UE installer which is essential for installing a custom user interface. After you've downloaded the file, head up to your browser and click the AOC UE installer. You have to have WinRAR or some other software for opening this. And we're just gonna open this file and continue with next and next again to install this software and next. Once this is done, we're just gonna close this down and be done with it. And we're just gonna close down the extracted file. Once that is done, we're gonna open AOC U installer, click the three dots at the start and just navigate to where you have your Age of Conan install, choose it and click OK. Go and select your UI zip file with the three dots again, navigate to where you have your ICOS RAR file and you're not gonna unzip this or anything. And as you can see here, there are tons of different bar types which uh, I'm gonna go through and cover after this in a video so you can see how it looks. So this is how like uh, the look is gonna be for us to have default, fire and sanctuary. So sanctuary is kind of like old school default. I think the default one looks pretty good. And this is also how you can see how your combos will look. So I like to have it in that way horizontal. And you can also choose how big your bag is gonna be, which is a huge bonus from the default one, which is very limited, where we have a lot of different uh, tabs to go between. I can also choose how big you want to have your bank space as well. We're gonna go for 105. I can also choose to go for the default map or you can go for the clean one. And this is one thing you can have as well. I'm not using this by myself. And here you can also choose a logo. So we have some different one, Kiara. You're gonna have to see it for yourself. So we're not gonna show it in this video because it's not a stuff. And this is the cast bar. You can change how the look is gonna be of that. So different options for this, I prefer the default one. I can also choose what it's gonna be like in the beginning of the cast bar. And I think this sword looks pretty good, the steel default, we're gonna go for this one, looks pretty good as well. I can also change what font you wanna have. So that's just, well, I kinda want how you wanna have it, how you want it to look. I think Croftsman looks pretty good. So we're just gonna close it down and after that we're gonna install it. If you don't want to install a new one, you can click patch if you have it a previous installed before and you will update your old user interface if there have been any new Age of Conan patch. Here we got the normal type 1 and we have the map to the left side of the action bars. And as you can see the difference between normal and normal 2 is the map is on the top right corner instead of having it to the left side of the action bars. This is the big icon type 1. This is a little bit tricky because you might think that uh, the whole thing is going to be big, but actually it's just the right side that is really big and the left side is pretty small. And this is small type 1. So we got a map in the middle and we got pretty small action bars in this one. Here's the mini type 1 and this is pretty similar size to the small one, but as you can see we got a map here down in the middle, it's in top right corner this time. Here we got the G13 which is made for the Logitech keyboard, so if you got that, this might suit you. Two rows type 1, this is a pretty small one and you got some extra small buttons here on the bottom. And we also got a map in the top right corner here, so... As you can see, the difference between type 1 and type 2 are that uh, the health bar, stamina, mana are the different place. I hope this has been really helpful for you guys, so now you should know how you can install a custom user interface and it's gonna be a pretty similar method to doing this with any user interface you choose to go with, so this should help you get going with basically any one of these interfaces that you wanna go for, so. So guys, thanks for watching this video, hope it was helpful and if you like this video, feel free to like it, it's gonna help me really really much and Subscribe if you want to see more with Age of Conan, so thank for watching, have a great great day, take care.